Welcome to Webtoon Tune 10. Today, things take a dark turn as we're sharing 10 of our favorite creepy darlings, starting with Gressel from Homesick. The internet is split with him as they either despise or simp for him like crazy. Guilty. He's got a menacing aura, likes to pick fights, flirts with death, and really enjoys pushing people's buttons. Just don't follow him into the basement. Or do if that's what you're into. Scarlet from I'm the Grim Reaper. She's coming after you for your sins, so you should probably go clear your search history. I know what you're up to. In fact, just, just give me a second. This creepy darling did something bad in a past life, something unspeakable. It was so horrid that the devil won't even tell her what it was. Now, she's tasked to wander the earth, collecting the souls of wretched sinners to uncover the clues of her wicked past. Roland from Morgana and Oz. Stare into his mysterious piercing eyes and try not to swoon. Roland is the leader of the vampires and his chilling presence will put ice in your veins. But his protective instinct towards his coven also fosters strong loyalty and tenderness. So basically he's kind of a big softy, but still don't mess with him because he definitely bites. Evelyn from Evelyn and the Occult. Ghosts can't get enough of her and neither can we. This hardcore creepy cutie is obsessed with the paranormal, but obsession leads to possession and now she's got a dark soul with the wardrobe to match. Pamela from Jackson's Diary. Branded the Wicked Witch of the West by her classmates, which come on 80s kids, you could have done better than that. Pamela is the school outcast that's actually the coolest person ever. People assume that she's standoffish and rude from her looks, but she is a loving and supportive friend. She speaks her mind and forgives those who have wronged her. This queen is the no-nonsense goth BFF that we all need. Aiden from School Bus Graveyard. He's our creepy, lovable scamp, the type you'd find laughing in the middle of the apocalypse. Every night, he and his friends battle hordes of hungry demons in order to survive. While everyone else is panicking, he's freakily chill and totally into the thrill of the chase. Be it day or night, he's the sweetest little maniac you'll ever meet. Gwendolyn from Cursed Princess Club. She's creepy meets cottagecore, and it's about time we got some wholesome creepiness up in here. People judge her prematurely for her appearance, but Gwen is the kindest, gentlest, most lovely princess out there, and we would be happy to serve and die for her. Lynn from Survival Diary. She may look scary with her bloodshot eyes, but Lynn is not your typical zombie. Unlike the rest of them, she has the capacity to think and feel. She refuses to eat human flesh, but she does crave human interaction. A chance encounter with survivor Rowan allows her to finally escape her loneliness as she helps him search for his family. The more they interact, the more human she begins to feel. And with a smile like that, who wouldn't want to be her friend? Paris from The Dummy's Dummy. If this puppet appears on your shelf, then prepare to shudder with delight. The sassy gothic marionette Paris was tasked by his cursed creator to capture all of his dark playmates who were unleashed into this world, like this sweet teddy bear. Always poised and proper, he's fueled by an unhinged thirst to execute and obey. Lenore from Nevermore. Who would you choose to roam within this hauntingly beautiful afterlife? We vote Lenore. We are just mesmerized by her dark ferocity and rebellious nature. And while she is our creepy darling of choice, the entire series is a creepy playground inspired by the king of creepy poetry himself, Edgar Allan Poe. Now that is all we have for your little dark hearts, but do let us know if there are other creepy darlings to add to the list. To find out more about these characters, you should definitely check out their series on Webtoon. See you next time. Mm -hmm.